Welcome back to another video review. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at a SciTac holster along with the SciTac Molly adapter. So let's start off with the holster. I picked up this holster for $25 Canadian plus tax from a local airsoft shop. Um, it's made in China. As far as I know, all SciTac products are in black. I've never seen any other colors and when I checked their website, everything was in black. Uh, the materials that they use for the holster itself, the section where you mount the pistol into, is made out of durable high-tech polymer materials and has extreme temperature tolerance. And then the paddle on the back is a silicone. It's a little bit more giving and bendy. So for $25, it's not bad. Uh, it comes with a quick release here. So when your pistol's mounted into it, push down on this and draw. Also comes with an Allen key because it is adjustable. And so you just undo it a little bit. And you can turn it, it has 360 degrees ability. So let me take the paddle off and that way I can show you how it has that ability. So it has like a toothed gear, that's what they call it, with little notches in it. And there's little notches on the other side as well. So is that sitting on there? You have quite a bit of ability of what angle you want. All right, so that's what comes in the package for just the holster. As mentioned, I do have the Molly adapter. Uh, the Molly adapter is made out of silicone, it feels as well. Seems like the same material as the paddle. So it's got some give on it, it's bendy. Uh, it has the same tooth gear so that you can mount. And this allows, so when you attach it to your vest or your battle belt or a drop leg panel, uh, whatever angle you need to give yourself, you can give that. If you have it on a vest, you can have it like on a cross draw if you like, or horizontal. So pretty different design. I can say that uh, this clip is actually pretty durable. I was worried when I first saw it that it might break, but because of the material it's made out of the silicone style plastic, uh, it's got a lot of give and it hasn't broken on me yet. All right, so. Um, just to show fitting, I have a KWA 1911 Mark IV. A little bit of give, a little bit of wiggle, but not bad. I was actually, uh, I actually took my pistol into the shop when I bought this just to check it out, see how much I liked it. He let me test it. And uh, yeah, it's in there snug, it's not coming out. And then as mentioned, it's got the quick release. So I like that. That way someone can't come up behind you and take your pistol from you as easily. So yeah. And as soon as you put it back in, it locks into place. It's not coming out. So yeah, pretty impressed for the price. I was looking at some other models of different brands and this was very affordable and it does the job. I haven't had any issues. The spring is really strong on the quick release. All right, so um, I personally, I mount this onto a drop leg panel. This is the Condor low profile one and I use this section of it. Basically, these two prongs go in, and then the top section goes into the, this row. Takes three rows. So I know other systems take up to four rows. I've seen other models that use two rows, but the three rows, that works.
right? So this sort of has teeth that come out, spread in, uh, as you can see, holds it in place, and these go over top. Um, one thing I did find with this molly attachment is that if you're moving and stuff, sometimes these cannot come undone. So my solution to that is to basically, if I can get in there, go this way maybe. And I take a zip tie and I zip tie it into place. That way this holds this piece down and this can't move up and unattach. So that's just a quick fix for that. Uh, but that's the only issue I've seen with this uh, attachment and it's easily fixed. This holds it all in place nicely. So yeah, use a zip tie on that and that fixes that issue. So let me reattach. That's what it looks like when you attach it to uh, a piece of molly, uh, your vest and such. So yeah, pretty impressed with it. Eventually I want to get a better one, but that's later down the road. Uh, but for the meantime, this does the job. Not very expensive. Um, can't remember if I mentioned, but the uh, Molly attachment, it only cost me 20, so all in. This was like $45 Canadian plus tax, so not bad. So if you have any questions, uh, leave them down below in the comments below. And have a great week, have a great day, and take care.